Hello, Gemini. The bottom of the deck, there is no mental clarity. You're feeling overwhelmed. Things are moving slowly, but you are trying to manifest something. Definitely, but feeling like you might have bit off more than you can chew. This might be um, an issue where there's little or no communication of passion, okay? But you're wanting a passionate new beginning somewhere and you're feeling stuck. Wow. Ooh, apparently with a water sign. Yep, you're feeling trapped. Wow, there's just, okay, celebration. This could be about stability too. I'm not sure. This is the 1111 Twin Flame card, one of them anyway. Okay, so you're feeling like stability is impossible or victory is impossible. Ah, putting your energy in the right place at the right time, you know what you want. <laughs> That's what you want. Okay, perfect. Balance. Love it. All right, so you there, um, Queen of Swords, that's the air sign, um, resisting transformation here. This transformation has to do with balance, um, testing the waters, possibly with a Pisces or other water sign. Um, temperance can also be a twin flame card as well. Um, You may be testing the waters because you have a secret or because you feel like they have a secret. Or you may be trying to balance out because of secrets. Also, you could be keeping this person a secret. All right. And because of that, if you're keeping this person a secret or if you have secrets, obviously you're going to kind of try to push that off and you're trying to escape the balance that you actually want. That's kind of crazy, but yeah. There, There's the water sign again, but I also see that there's an earth sign involved. And most likely you're with the earth sign and not with the water sign, but it could be vice versa. And also keep in mind, it doesn't have to be these water sign and earth sign. It could be people that take on these characteristics. But you've got one that's more of a stable kind of person, very rooted, um, traditional in, in a sense. Um, and then you have this one that's more kind of out there, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Probably somebody who's very intuitive um, and emotional. But at this point in time, they're not fully in your life like this earth sign. Again, Remember that the signs that I give are not necessarily the truth. Sometimes it's the energy of, okay? Now, the earth sign personality, it looks like you're kind of wanting to move away from a situation with, not necessarily move away from them, though you may be entertaining that idea as well. Um... But at the same time, though you're dealing with these two people, you're, you're tired, you're exhausted, but you're not really ending anything. Um, or maybe you're just not showing that there is an ending. I feel like there is at least one person that knows about the situation other than the people involved. This earth sign is more abundant, more fertile, more acceptable than this water sign would be. When it comes to the tangible. And that may be part of the reason why you may be having a hard time ending the situation. The Queen of Pentacles definitely takes a better picture, so to speak. Anyways, so you're having a hard time taking a leap of faith. Um, but you're really needing to do some soul searching here. 
because it looks like you are avoiding any kind of transformation, okay? And you're learning lessons and moving forward and trying to balance things out. If only in your mind by testing the waters, trying to figure out what it is that you really want. Not ending a situation with a water sign, either due to secrets, or it's just again referring to the water sign being a secret, or you have secrets. And I'm seeing that you're having a hard time taking a leap of faith with the Queen of Pentacles as well. Interesting. So yeah, there needs to be some kind of balance within this love situation because there's a feeling of everything is not being nurtured that needs to be nurtured, okay? See, this is the nurturing, the 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 bounty, the I'm happy with the bounty card, but it looks as if I'm not happy with it. Could be dealing with a third party situation. This could be a passionate third party situation, or there could also be, you know, a, a fire sign involved here. Also, because whenever I first pulled this out, this was upside down, there could be a fire sign who is maliciously gossiping about you or this situation. And it's got you up in your head. And this is something from the past or about your past. Or again, this is another like soulmate twin flame card. Okay. So you may be hesitant to move forward until you learn more. Yeah. You're not making a choice right now. You're not communicating. Interesting. Yeah. All of these cards are going right back into the same story. So what I'm getting is you guys, you're, you're looking at a higher level relationship um, that may not be the norm, that not, may not be acceptable to society. And so you're still in the phases of trying to decide what works best for you. So alternate methods of how to bring forth the love and relationships in your life that you wish to bring in, but you're not wanting to hurt anyone. However, there are things in your life that you also have to bring forward for your own sake, I guess. And it's kind of a torn feeling because it's kind of between um, passion, stability, and then there's also, I think what you're missing is the etheric quality and emotional and intuitive nature of the water sign. So between those two, you know, you, you need a mixture of both or want a mixture of both. And so that's why you are in the, um, kind of stuck position but it's not really stuck. I get it more as you guys are observing. Okay, guys, I will see you again soon. Bye.